just some making birria right now. It's cooking. It probably needs like another, another 30 minutes and it should be done. And I still gotta make the salsa to put in it. So what's in here? It's just beef chuck and bay leaves and salt with water. Okay. And we're gonna let that boil. And For then another 30 minutes. Another 30 minutes. All right. Some onions Sauteing some onions. So now we're gonna let it fry in there until it's golden brown. Then we're gonna add some water and seasoning. Yep. And that's how we're gonna make our Spanish rice, guys. We're gonna. Very easy. She sauteed some onions. Hot pan, oil, put your rice in, fry it until it starts turning like a goldeny brown. And then we're gonna add some water and some seasoning, babe? Yes. Bam. Stay tuned. We're frying it to a crisp, to a goldeny brown. To a goldeny brown. Coming from the chef herself. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Let's zoom out. Let's. Yes. Very nice. Very nice. I'm your biggest fan, baby. <laughs> I love you. And so now I'm gonna fill her up two cups of these. Right, baby? Yes. Because for one cup of rice equals two cups of water. And equal parts, so no matter what kind of cup. No matter you what, you, and I'm just gonna set that there for you when you're ready to throw it in. I love you. And we we're gonna throw that cup of water in there. Okay, we don't have the seasoning to make the rice that we used, so she's improvising. She's grabbing three tomatoes. But we could improvise. It's all these. It's all these flavors. Gives it the color we need. Hey, check out Carlos' plants. She is like getting these guys ready, growing them. Because let me tell you, before these, she, I've seen her kill some plants. <laughs> I've seen her kill some plants. I'm just gonna say that. We're, we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna say that, all right, baby. You're right. You're right. Sean. But you've came a long way in your plant game. We're gonna dump some water in the concoction that she put together, which is tomato. What is in there, baby? Just tomato and onion. Just three tomatoes and an onion. And then and so what she... Tomatoes, shout out to your mom, share your mom's garden. Yeah, my mom's garden. Um, and so she's using that cup of water that she would have used, and she's going to make it like a... Like a like the seasoned. A seasoned water, yeah. And then she's going to throw that. All right, so now we finish it off in there. And now we let it cook. And now we throw we, in a little bit of chicken bouillon. Chicken bouillon. Give it a little bit of flavoring. Maybe a little cayenne pepper. Yeah, we can do some cayenne pepper. Yes. We're doing some chicken bouillon. And get a whole cup. Sir over here loves a lot of salt. Love it. Gotta have the flavor. Come on. I'm a I'm flavor town over here. Like my flavor. She's gonna throw some cayenne pepper in it right now. A little bit of cayenne. Just a little bit. As she douses half of the cayenne pepper bottle in. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know how people normally they're like a little bit of salt they got a whole handful Whoa, they're like good. boom <laughs> because I love her she's so good yeah though. yeah we should be like poquita sal a handful yeah that's <laughs> telling you it's flavor town Delish. it's flavor town and now you just let it boil let it boil cover it up but until it once it, the, it's like Barely boiling. Yeah, once it boils, you cover it up. And we wait. And this right here, we're gonna mix some chile in there. Yeah, but I need to. Okay, baby. We're over here in another pan. And we're, what are we making? Um, these are chile guapillos. And I'm putting about eight of those in here. Okay. And then now I'm gonna grab. I think I have an open one. Right we have this whole bag of whole thing over here, full of just all kinds of stuff. What kind of chiles are those? They're um, chile de árbol. Chile de árbol. So chile de guajillo and chile de árbol. Bay leaves. With some water. And so once we that chili gets the chi the chiles get done um, boiling and you blend them, where is that gonna go? Oh, inside here. Inside the birria, inside the birria. or the meat. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And this is our Mexican rice cooking, and step by step we showed y'all how to do, how to get there. Smell it's smelling so good. Like I wish you guys could could smell this. This is amazing. Carla, you're amazing. I love you. I love you, honey. So much. So now we wait while the food cooks. Um, man, this camera like follows me. Like if I go here, it follows. That's crazy. Cheers, guys. I hope you're drinking along with me because um, we're going to be eating real soon. Carla is making us a feast. This is birria. Um, not like quesa birria, it's just birria, birria with rice, and then we're gonna have tortillas, cilantro, onion. There is gonna be some consomme, so we can have some consomme on the side if we want that too. This is going to be a beast, guys. We were gonna make birria egg rolls, but we couldn't find the egg roll wrap, so here we are. We're having a birria plate. So I'm super excited and I'll be right back. Carla's actually chopping up the onions, so I'm gonna put the camera on her. How to the onions though you gotta watch out. You're gonna start crying. So we're back. So right now as the rice is looking like this, we wanna to top it. It's boiling. I'm gonna turn it down to medium. Before it was on high. And our chilies are over here boiling already, so the timing is right. Carla's gonna grab a lid, we're gonna top it off. Okay, so the rice is gonna look like this. It's done. Peep the shorts, y'all. Okay, so what we've done now is we've taken the chilies after they've boiled for about 10 minutes and they are in this blender. We are going to blend it up. She's got some, so she's got all the chilies in there that we boiled. The wajillo, the 
all that. And the bay leaves. And the bay leaves. And now this is peppercorn. And this is cloves. And I'm gonna put a splash of vinegar, like literally a splash of vinegar. Chicken bouillon. Now we're straining it into the meat. And so now what you're going to have is you're going to have your meat that you just boiled for three hours. Yeah, basically three hours. And you're going to add your chilies in. Your chili that you just strained and boiled. And you're going to let it just marinate and cook. So now what you do is you... You get a test. You get a test out. How is it? Mm -hmm. Flavorful. Flavor. Flavor. Flavor Town. Flavor Town. I see some lunch for tomorrow. Gosh, I can't wait. I wish you guys could smell this right here. Whew. Oh, I gave you some. <laughs> fill her up, fill her up. We're about to eat some tacos. Hell yeah. Carla needs a lemon. We'll, we'll check her catching skills. Good catch, baby. You make a good team. See, I'm flipping these burnt tortillas over here. <laughs> I'm kidding. They're perfect. I caught them just in time. Caught them just in time, baby. Carlos chopping up lemons over there. We did it again. I've got the tortillas in here nice and warm. We just realized we messed up. We for, we didn't make a salsa. So you know we about to make a salsa too. You guys are about to get a salsa right now. What do we got, baby? So 
I got my okay, mom's so, tomatoes. Yeah, so these are two tomato romanos. I honestly don't even know what these tomatoes are. Those called. are from Herb. Some no. from Oh no. No, these are. Oh, those are all from my mom. These are all from your mom. These are from Herb. Yeah, these are from Herb. This one's Herb. Uh, that's another tomato. I don't know what kind of tomato that is either. So we got that. We're gonna just whip up a little sauce. It's just her and I. Don't forget to wash your brutals. And we have some serrano. Is that like a yellow pepper? It's like a yellow pepper. I don't know what kind of pepper it is. We have three, six, seven serrano. And like a yellow pepper. Or an Anaheim pepper. We're gonna let them fry here a little bit. Before we add some oil. We're gonna let the water just kind of heat up. We totally forgot we need a salsa. So you guys are getting a treat right now. We're getting the whole mix, the whole thing, the whole get up. Get your tomatoes, get your peppers, get your jalapenos, your serranos, your your habaneros, your any kind of pepper you want to put in here. Make sure you got a little bit of tomato. We're gonna need to put a little bit of onions, a little bit of cilantro for the flavor. We're gonna need to mix it up with a little bit of seasoning. But this is gonna be a really good salsa. Yeah. You're welcome. Give it a little shake shake. Spread it out. This grapeseed oil keeps shooting at us. Yeah, literally. Grapeseed oil. You can, You guys can use any kind of oil. Use any. <laughs> Yo, we done fucking almost burnt the house down. <laughs> we almost done burnt the house down, but Daddy saved us. We saved. No, us. I saved it. Get, get out of here. I saved. I was it. recording. Yeah, but I saved it. I put it recorded away. Good job, buddy. Save the salsa. In the house? In the house. Jeez. <laughs> you guys, don't do what we just did. These look good, though, but we're just cooking it. Like, I think it's even fine to go in right now. So, we just heated it up. They're charred a little bit. The oil's mixed with any, you know, all the flavor that we need. We're going to put a little bit of salt pepper, garlic powder, that's it. Okay, honey, how do, you, how do you feel? How do you feel that you just burnt, almost burnt the house down? My heart is still going. <laughs> what did my face, so what, what did my face look like? Your face was like this. He froze, <laughs> like he literally froze. You guys, I recorded it. I got it all on camera. <laughs> <laughs> we got the mix-ins right here. This is for the caldo. This is for the birria. Can't wait. Oh my gosh. I've been craving this. And then what you're going to want to do is take all those chilies that we're just frying, throw them in the blender, and blend them. With garlic salt? With some garlic salt. With some cilantro. With some salt. Some pepper. She's going to add a little bit of water for the consistency. A little bit. A little bit of water for the consistency because we want it a little bit, not as chunky. Look at that. And every time it smacks. Every time. Every time. I make it too. I could do it too. But that's the recipe right there. I'm telling you, you could throw jalapeno at it. You could throw uh, habanero. You could throw a ghost pepper. You could throw whatever you want at it. Have at it. Make sure there's, you know, all the other ingredients. Some garlic, some 
tomato. Because we're about to get down, y'all. I, and I mean down, because I have been eating all day. We're about to get down with it. Look at that salsa. Hmm, it smells so good. Check the drip, check the drip. Little bit of salt. Season and that's the thing with the salt. Don't be crazy with it. Keep, not with, not keep, with salsa. Not with salsa. Keep adding to it. Like yeah, tiny it. increments. Like because if you just throw a bunch of salt in, you could mess it up right off the top. Mm -hmm. So add salsa as you need, as you taste. Always taste your salsa. Yeah. Look at her. Lightly, lightly, just lightly. She knew she needed exactly that much. That's just stir it in there. And voila, you got a good salsa. Look at that. That's about the consistency it needs to be. It's perfect. It's perfect, dude. How is it? A little bit more salt. It's okay. Phew, that was poquito. Poquito sal. <laughs> poquito sal. Alright, let me try now. More salt? No, oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. We're about to eat soon, guys. We're gonna plate up right now. After your meat has been cooking for three plus hours, marinating in that sauce that you marinated in it, you want to break your meat down. It should just break sh should just up break apart. apart easily without you having to use a knife or anything. You can just use the tongs. So break your meat. Cool. It smells so good. So right now we're gonna bowl up the consomme that was marinating the meat. We got these nice little bowls right here. They're perfect size. They're rice bowls. It smells so good. So right now she's plating up. We're gonna plate up and then we'll see you guys in a minute.